Hey guys, so as you can see by the title, this is on periods and sports. So yeah, let's get started. Now, if you're on your period and you know that if you just put in a tampon or put on a pad that you will be good for the rest of the sports event, whatever you do, cheerleading, anything like that. Um, if you know that you can just put one of those on and you'll be fine, like if you have a light flow, then you should probably do that. Oh, I'm sorry about my voice. I'm like losing my voice. But yeah. Um, the tampons that I recommend you use if you use tampons, which I recommend using tampons for sports because they don't like slide around. They stay in you and in one place. So I recommend um, these for sports. These are Playtex Sport. Um, and I'll show you what they look like. Oh, an easier way to open these is just to push down instead of, like, ripping them. This is a regular. But, yeah. So, this is just a really great tampon to use. Um, so, yeah. Um, they don't really have an anti like backup layer, so I recommend using a panty liner with this if you have, like, a heavy flow. Um, and, yeah. Now, if you're going to be using pads, then I recommend using the Always Slenders or Always Infinity. Or if you have a light flow, um, just a panty liner would work. Um, yeah. Uh, if you have a heavy flow and you know you, or it's like a really long sports day and you might need to change your pad or tampon during the sports time, then you should bring a period kit. I'm sorry, I'm trying to put it back in. So I'll show you mine. This is what I keep it in, and it looks a little bit different from when I did the video because I changed the packaging, but it's still the same. So that's what it looks like from the top. And I'll show you what's in it, um, what you should bring in it. You should always bring a pad if you wear pads. Now this is if my friends ever need one. I have a U by Kotex, although I don't like U by Kotex, so yeah. And then... I would always bring, uh, if you use tampons, I would always, I would go and get this at Walmart. It's a little tampon case, and I can open it. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So, yeah. Recommend that. Now, I used to do dance, and... Um, I used to have to get dressed and all that because it was at my school, but I also did dance outside of school, so I know kind of about the sports and stuff. So yeah, and then I recommend bringing some panty liners, a some under extra underwear, and hand sanitizer. So yeah. So yeah. Um, if you have if you're not in like gymnastics or anything like that uh where you can have pockets and stuff i definitely recommend putting like getting um a small tampon or some kind of like compact tampon not the tampax pearl they suck then i recommend getting those kinds of tampons and just sticking them in your pocket because i mean they're like the same thing as a tampon they just are compact so yeah so I hope this helped in any way, and if you think you're going to leak or something, I would definitely wear, like if you have a heavy flow I, and you wear tampons, I'd wear a tampon and a pad. So I would double up on that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you need to leave to go to the bathroom to change it, just be like, excuse me, can I use the restroom? Or if you have a girl teacher, you can talk to them personally or stuff like that, you know? So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped. Uh, still, I'm sorry about my voice. Really weird. But, yeah. Bye, guys.